SpaceX's Starship program is undergoing a significant transformation, moving away from its reliance on the complex and potentially limiting Mechazilla landing system. The recent announcement and subsequent development of landing legs for Starship represents a strategic shift, significantly broadening the capabilities and applications of this colossal spacecraft. This evolution signals a crucial adaptation to meet growing demands for versatility in both military and civilian space operations, while also paving the way for future lunar and Martian ventures. The decision to equip Starship with landing legs directly addresses concerns surrounding the Mechazilla system. This highly specialized and intricate system, while crucial for rapid reusability and cost effectiveness, possesses inherent limitations that restrict Starship's operational flexibility. The new approach is a response to a growing need for maneuverability in various environments, ranging from remote landing sites to disaster relief operations. The adaptability offered by landing legs opens a wider array of mission possibilities. The move to landing legs is particularly significant in light of SpaceX's burgeoning role in military and government contracts. The Rocket Cargo Vanguard program, championed by the U.S. Air Force, seeks to utilize reusable launch vehicles for rapid global deployment of military supplies. Starship's payload capacity and potential for precision landings make it an ideal candidate for this program. The ability to land on diverse terrains, including remote islands like Johnston Atoll, is pivotal in facilitating rapid responses to military emergencies and disaster relief efforts. Previously, relying solely on Mechazilla for landing significantly limited Starship's operational versatility. Mechazilla, with its complex structure and deployment requirements, posed challenges for use in various settings, particularly remote or uneven terrains. This is where the landing legs come in. They provide a more adaptable and versatile solution, enabling Starship to land on practically any terrain, including uneven surfaces, loose regolith, and challenging environments. This wider range of landing options aligns perfectly with both commercial and military objectives. This strategic shift, however, does not negate the continued importance of Mechazilla. For missions prioritizing speed and reusability, like Starlink satellite deployments and future lunar or Martian landings, Mechazilla's capabilities remain essential. The modularity of the Starship design allows for the coexistence of both systems. The redundancy and approach ensures a more adaptable and comprehensive solution. SpaceX can strategically deploy the appropriate landing system for each specific mission. The development of next-generation landing legs presents a critical challenge, particularly given Starship's immense mass. The impact forces during landing will be substantial, demanding robust and adaptable designs. Previous prototypes, while equipped with landing legs, have faced issues in landing, particularly with structural integrity. This underlines the need for careful engineering design and rigorous testing to ensure the structural integrity and safety of the new system. In conclusion, SpaceX's decision to integrate landing legs into Starship represents a significant evolution. It signals a strategic shift towards a more versatile and adaptable launch system. This adaptation reflects a forward-thinking approach to space exploration, addressing the growing demands for global deployment lunar and planetary missions, and disaster relief. The transformation signifies not only a technological advancement, but also a profound change in the strategic landscape of space operations. It's a testament to SpaceX's ability to adapt and innovate in the face of new challenges, positioning Starship as a truly versatile and powerful platform for future space endeavors. Starship and SpaceX's new era of landings. In 2025, Starship will be equipped with landing legs, eliminating its reliance on Mechazilla. This will allow the spacecraft to land on any terrain, paving the way for military missions on Johnston Island. More importantly, this marks a crucial step in preparing Starship as the HLS lander for Artemis III in 2027. The introduction of landing legs raises a big question. Is Mechazilla being phased out? In reality, SpaceX is always aiming for rapid reusability, reducing turnaround time between launches and cutting operational costs. However, relying solely on Mechazilla would limit Starship's potential for lunar, Martian, and military transport missions. Thus, SpaceX needs a more flexible solution, landing legs which will enable Starship to operate independently on any surface.
the urgency of landing legs for Starship. In early March 2025, the U.S. Air Force, USAF, unexpectedly announced plans to build two rocket landing sites on Johnson Island, about 800 miles from Hawaii. This is part of the Rocket Cargo Vanguard program, aimed at delivering military cargo anywhere on Earth within 90 minutes using reusable rockets. SpaceX's Starship is the top candidate for this mission. Back in 2022, SpaceX secured a $12 million contract to develop this technology. If Starship proves itself as an efficient, reusable cargo rocket, the Pentagon could sign long-term contracts with SpaceX. SpaceX already has a strong history with the Department of Defense, from GPS satellite launches in 2016 to the NSSL Phase II program in 2020. More recently, SpaceX has provided military Starlink services, including contracts for Ukraine in 2022 and global military operations in 2023. With these credentials, Starship is the leading contender for Rocket Cargo Vanguard, reinforcing the necessity of landing legs for future military missions. Why Starship Needs Landing Legs The Rocket Cargo Vanguard program will test Starship's landing and ground handling for real-world missions like disaster relief, military deployments, and emergency supply transport. However, building a Mechazilla Tower on Johnson Island is impractical, and ocean landings would require towing Starship back, causing delays. The best solution is equipping Starship with landing legs. SpaceX has already mastered landing legs with Falcon 9 and designed Falcon Heavy to support them. These legs enable rockets to land on solid ground or drone ships, ensuring rapid reuse. Early Starship prototypes, SN5, SN6, SN9, and SN10, had foldable landing legs, but design flaws led to failures. SpaceX later shifted to ocean landings and Mechazilla catches to improve reusability and reduce weight. However, landing legs remain crucial for lunar and Mars landings, where unpredictable terrain makes precision landings impossible without them. Rocket Cargo Vanguard is the perfect opportunity to refine this system. The challenges of designing Starship's landing legs. Designing landing legs for Starship is a major challenge due to the massive weight and impact forces during landing. If Starship HLS lands on the moon carrying 100 plus tons of cargo, its total weight, including fuel, could reach 150 to 200 tons. Slowing down from hundreds of meters per second to zero creates huge impact forces, requiring durable shock-absorbing legs. Unlike Falcon 9, which lands on smooth pads, Starship must handle craters, rocks, and loose lunar soil. Uneven terrain could cause tipping if legs fail to adjust properly. A smart deployment system using hydraulics or pneumatics could ensure secure, stable landings. A shock absorber system with nitrogen gas pistons or hydraulic dampers could reduce landing stress by distributing force over 0.5 to 1 second. Before SpaceX achieves Mars landings, it must first ensure Starship's reusability, requiring robust landing legs and an effective heat shield for safe re-entry. Does the Mechazilla landing method still matter? Even if Starship successfully lands on its legs, Mechazilla remains essential for certain missions. Catching Starship reduces turnaround time, improves reusability, and saves weight, which increases payload capacity. Every kilogram saved allows for more cargo in orbit. For super heavy, Landing legs would be too large and heavy, making mid-air catching the best option. If SpaceX perfects this method, boosters can be immediately repositioned on the launch mount, avoiding delays from manual relocation. This is critical for rapid launches, like lunar-based construction or Mars colonization. However, landing legs are necessary for military transport and off-world landings, where catch towers aren't available. They enable Starship to land on uneven terrain, supporting global logistics, asteroid research, and emergency missions. By balancing both methods, SpaceX maximizes efficiency, flexibility, and cost-effectiveness, securing military contracts and advancing its Mars-ready vision. The strategic importance of landing legs. Landing legs are not just an upgrade, they are a strategic move. By reducing reliance on complex recovery systems, SpaceX lowers costs and gains an edge in military contracts and lunar missions. More importantly, they enable new capabilities like rapid response science missions to asteroids 
or emergency payload deliveries. From an economic perspective, landing legs improve efficiency. Strategically, they enhance flexibility for high-risk missions where catch towers are not available. Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy have proven the success of this landing method, making it a natural evolution for Starship. By developing both Mechazilla and landing legs, SpaceX is securing a profitable future while advancing its long-term goal, a Mars-ready Starship. This dual approach allows for rapid reuse in controlled environments while ensuring independence in remote or unpredictable locations. Ultimately, it strengthens SpaceX's position as an industry leader, outpacing competitors in the race to deep space. The future of Starship's landing systems. Landing legs are a key element in Starship's future, but Mechazilla remains essential for certain missions. When launching Starlink satellites, lunar missions, or Mars journeys, catching Starship with Mechazilla is the optimal choice. Eliminating landing legs reduces weight, allowing for greater payload capacity, a crucial factor in rocket design. Another major benefit is launch cadence. SpaceX is not just focused on reusability, but on rapid turnaround between flights. If Starship is used to build a lunar base, it will require frequent launches. Catching it directly with Mechazilla allows for immediate repositioning, avoiding delays caused by traditional crane relocation. However, for military cargo transport, disaster relief, or emergency supply missions, landing legs are a must. These missions require Starship to land on unprepared terrain, making Mechazilla infeasible. By developing both landing methods, SpaceX ensures maximum versatility, balancing efficiency and flexibility for future space exploration. Starship's re-entry and landing considerations. For a successful landing, Starship needs to withstand extreme conditions, especially during re-entry. Whether using Mechazilla arms or landing legs, heat protection is critical to ensure the spacecraft survives the intense heat and stress. The heat shield tiles must perform flawlessly to prevent structural damage, especially during re-entry. If Starship can safely land on its legs, does Mechazilla still matter? The answer is yes, but its necessity depends on the mission. For certain missions, like Starlink launches, lunar and Mars flights, Mechazilla remains essential. The primary advantage is weight savings. Every pound saved increases the payload capacity. However, in situations like military cargo missions, where Starship needs to land on unprepared surfaces, landing legs become crucial. These legs provide a reliable backup for missions where Mechazilla cannot be used. In the end, the combination of both methods allows SpaceX to be flexible, ensuring Starship can tackle diverse missions in space exploration and beyond. Mechazilla versus landing legs, strategic considerations. While Mechazilla is essential for Starship missions like launching Starlink satellites, lunar, and Mars missions, it comes with specific advantages. The ability to catch super heavy midair dramatically reduces the weight required for landing, which in turn increases payload capacity for orbital missions. By using Mechazilla for mid-air catches, SpaceX simplifies recovery and cuts down on turnaround time. However, landing legs are still needed for certain situations. For example, in military cargo transport or unprepared surfaces, where the catch system isn't feasible, landing legs become essential. They offer stability in challenging terrains, such as the Moon or Mars, where unpredictable conditions prevail. In the long run, landing legs provide strategic flexibility, allowing for efficient recovery on Earth and other celestial bodies. They're a backup when Mechazilla isn't an option, ensuring that SpaceX can handle a range of missions without compromising safety or cost.